Hello Year 3 and welcome to Lesson 4 this week of reading. And we're moving on today to Chapter 8, which is the day of the contest. It's all going to happen. Our learning objective is to explore how the author describes the settings to create tension. So get the date down into your book and that learning objective and then unpause the video and we'll have a look at the Robin Hood recap. In three, two, one. So three questions. Why is the sheriff holding an archery contest? What does the winner receive? And what is a crier? See if you remember those. And then we'll move on to the answers in three, two, one. So he is holding an archery contest to get Robin Hood to come to the castle so that he can capture him and arrest him. The winner receives the silver arrow and the title of greatest archer in all of England. And finally, a crier is a person who shouts out public announcements so that people in towns and villages know what is happening. So well done if you got all of those. Now, let's have a look at the vocabulary that we're looking at today. Right, the first one uh, that we have is jerkin. And a jerkin is a sleeveless jacket. Okay. The second one is stained. And if something is stained, it's marked or dirty. Then we have keep. And to keep isn't just to keep something. This time it means the main tower of the castle. The keep. Menacing. So if something is menacing, it's dangerous and threatening. It's menacing. So it has a real bad implication for Robin Hood. Loomed. If something looms, it's starting to appear or starting to happen. Next we have gay. And gay in this case means colourful flags and banners because they're going to a contest with lots of people. Then we've got platform. And a platform is a raised surface that you can stand on. And finally, livery. And livery is a uniform. So, for example, the soldiers were wearing the livery of Gisborne, their uniform. So lots of words there that are going to appear in the next in the next two pages that we're looking at today. So let's see what we're going to do with these words. You know exactly. We're going to try and write some sentences with these red words using the meanings that we have on the page here. OK, so I want you to see if you can try to write at least three sentences with these words. If you can do any more, then fantastic. But just see if you can do three. And I'll give you a moment to pause the video now and do those. OK, we'll have a look at one of mine in three, two, one. So here is my sentence. I put Robin walked past the castle keep wearing his stained jerkin as the soldiers in Gisborne's livery loomed close. So I've managed to fit in five of our words down here, there. I wonder what you got. Can't wait to see. OK, let's have a look at our reading today. It's a trap, Robin, said Little John urgently. Tell me again the words the crier used, Will, said Robin. We had delivered Malbeat to the King's justice, said Scarlet. On our way back, we lodged at Ashby for the night. And as we left the next morning, a crowd had gathered to hear the crier. He said that an archery contest would take place in Nottingham a week from now to find whether a Saxon or a Norman would win the Silver Arrow Prize and be champion archer of all England. Everyone knows who is the greatest archer in England, said Little John. It's not a prize. It's not for the title or prize that I must enter, said Robin quietly. Chapter 8 the day of the contest. When the day of the archery contest arrived, there were many key, keen-eyed men with sun-tanned faces among the crowd. They carried bows and wore swords beneath their long brown cloaks. They had come in twos and threes as if they came from different parts. 
Robin himself was dressed in a tattered brown jerkin and hood. He had let his hair and beard grow longer than usual and his face was stained and dirty. As there was no place large enough in the town itself, the contest was ta to take place on a great stretch of green below the walls. The keep of the castle loomed grey and menacing, and despite the gay flags and banners, it was towards the friendly trees of Sherwood, a mile away across open country, that Little John kept glancing anxiously. He had noticed that many of the men-at-arms who surrounded the ground wore the livery of Gisborne. Friar Tuck said, I fear that treachery is afoot. They pushed their way through to the front of the crowd to be as close as possible to their leader. Robin glanced at the raised platform on which the sheriff sat with his wife and officers of his household. There was no sign of Gisborne, but Robin had also seen... Oh, I wonder who he's going to see. You have to wait for that bit. But look, here, here is the castle keep with the grey menacing walls looming. And then there are the colourful flags and banners because it's a special day. And here are Robin and his men, hooded and wearing that jerkin as well, um, walking through the crowds. Very good. So here are our four questions. Firstly, how does the author show that this is an important contest? How does the author describe the castle keep? And how does this build tension? Which word in the text means the same as uniform? And finally, what is a jerkin? That's one of our words as well. So you've got our explore, retrieve and define reading gems there. These are the main questions. So pause the video now and see if you can answer those. And then once you're ready, unpause and then I'll go through my answers too. We'll have a look at them in three, two, one. So there are lots of people there with flags and banners, and men dressed smartly in Gisborne's livery. It's an, it's an important day in Nottingham, and the author shows that there is an atmosphere of excitement. The author says that the keep of the castle loomed grey and menacing. This shows that despite the colour and the excitement, that it could be a dark and dangerous time if things go wrong for Robin if any is captured. We know that livery means uniform, and we know that a jerkin is a sleeveless jacket. So well done for having a go at those. So what I want you to do is I want you to describe the setting shown in this picture using your own adjectives. How would you describe what is happening in this picture here? There are many different things that you can come up with, and I can't wait to see what you manage. So. Pause the video now, give that a try, describe what you can see in the picture with your own adjectives. We'll move on to the final slide in three, two, one. Okay, so now it's prediction time. I want you to tell me what you think will happen in this contest. Make a prediction and then in the lessons to come, we will see if you're right or not. Okay, our reading gems that we've covered today are explore, retrieve, define and predict. And you've done very well. And I'm looking forward to carrying on the story with you. So until next time, where we will carry on the story, well done. And I'll leave you with that task of making that prediction of what you think will happen in this contest. See you soon.